Hey, this is Matt Drace with Havana Properties. Um, we've got a property available for wholesale in Denver. Uh, the property address is 4137 Kalamath Street. We are asking $79,000 for this house. It is a two-bedroom, one-bath that can be converted into a two with a master bath and a two-bathroom. Uh, this is a great project, a uh, great up-and-coming neighborhood. Uh, there's four properties within the uh, two houses away that have been rehabbed in the past year. As a matter of fact, I spoke to uh, one of the buyers of the house. She said she paid $208,000 for her property a year ago, just two houses away. So this is a great opportunity for uh, uh, an investor who wants to buy this property and either hold it for a rental or fix and flip it. It needs probably about thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars in rehab for a fix and flip, and um, uh, and I've got it after repair value of one fifty-five, which is a very conservative after repair value. I do have a, a current comp at three uh, that was done three twenty of oh nine that closed for 210000 for the same square foot house. So uh, that is an extremely conservative comp. This is a great deal. Again, this is Matt Drace with Havana Properties. Give me a call at 303-435-6845 or uh, take a look at the details of this property at pres4invest.com. Uh, let's go through and take a look at the property on the video. Thanks. They uh, filled in a couple windows, uh, the older windows in the house. It's uh, an old adobe stucco type siding. Um, there is some shifting, a little bit of shifting on it. Um, take a walk in, it's got uh, high ceilings. This is where one of the windows originally was, and it looks like there was one here at one point as well. There's a little bit of cracking on the, the walls. Really rough, rough texture. Um, a little bit of cracking down the wall right here. This is a two bedroom. This is a bedroom here with, uh, at one point they added a wall here. Behind this wall is acts a hallway to a bathroom behind this. I would say you tear this out, make it a master suite with the bathroom. This is a, a, an addition on the closet. They added on to this closet, uh, put a closet in this room. It's got uh, raised panel doors. This is another bedroom. Again, high ceilings. There's not many outlets in these rooms. Uh, a closet added on. And here is the, out, the only outlet in this room. Not a bad kitchen, size wise. Tear it out and redo the kitchen. It's got. Um, drop ceiling in it. I would just frame that off and redo the ceiling. This is the hallway that uh, they added and I would knock this hallway out and make a master bath back here. It's kind of a narrow block. And then uh, next to this room on this side is a uh, laundry room, which we'll walk through, which I'd probably make another bathroom, a bathroom for the house. Back here is an extra bonus room. Here's the access to the cell, the heater. Downstairs, we'll run down there, we'll cut, exit out to the backyard. This room here was added on at one point to the back of the house. The original house only came to this wall here. So this is the laundry room, and this is where I would take out this wall, and I would actually uh, uh, make a bathroom here and laundry room combo.
So you have two bath, two bedroom with a master suite. Okay, this is the cellar. This is where your heater's at and your hot water heater. Um, it does have galvanized piping in some spots. Some of it is copper. Um, it does have some of the older electrical. I'm not quite sure where we're at with some of these wires hanging out. So you definitely have to have an electrician probably take a look at it. Hot water heater is a 94, so I'd recommend replacing that. The heater is not that old of a heater, probably just cleaned up. Everything probably works fine on it. I have a GFI plug down here, so there's been some updating. No real crawl space access. See that? That's the old foundation, brick foundation. Some some shifting. Possibly some asbestos on some of these outlets. anywhere underneath here. The main vent. Panel at some point has been uh, updated. 100 amp service with the main. It should be alright on that. 